The average distance from Earth to the moon is 384,467 kilometers, and every year the moon moves three and a half centimeters further away. In the entire history of humanity so far, only 12 people have stepped on the surface of the moon. You will be the 13th. I agree, it's not the luckiest number, but just imagine, there'll be no one on the moon except for you. True, this ain't Miami. The temperature is minus 173 degrees Celsius. And everywhere you go, there's radiation 200 times higher than on Earth. So you can't do it without a spacesuit. But in the meantime, as a tourist, you can check into the hotel. Although construction isn't slated until 2025. Let's go to the far side of the moon. Especially because there's a bunch of cool equipment left there by astronauts. Arnold, jump into the lunar rover, start the engine, and drive. Believe it or not, there are a few lunar seas. Only, they're not filled with water, but solidified lava. Arnold, wrong pedal! Hit the brake! Congratulations, Arnold. You just smashed into the U-22 Chinese lunar rover, and you damaged your spacesuit. Oh, no. Houston, we have a problem. Don't worry, Arnold. Help is on the way. True, it's going to take them three days to get here. Somehow, during this time, you have to get to the ISS by yourself. Moving your body around ain't going to do nothing. Even if you run like Sonic, your body's going to stay in one place. So, here are some real options for moving in space. The first option is using the air from your oxygen tank. Air moves through its tubes at a speed of 50 kilometers per second. This kind of energy, in just 60 seconds, could carry you as far as 3 kilometers. But this will significantly reduce your air supply. So, let's move on to the second option. Burrito. You wrapped it in foil, and foil is an excellent reflector. If you make a sail out of the foil, then particles of light reflecting off of it will transmit their momentum to the foil and thereby accelerate you through space. Did you hear nothing I said about a sail? Son of a schmuck! Ooh, we could use that too. Gases exit the human body at a speed of 3 meters per second and they can fill an entire balloon in a day. You just need to think of a way to let them out. Arnold, what are you up to? How many burritos did you eat? Just a little bit left. Stretch! And... Remember that show Love, Death and Robots? You're gonna have to tear off your hand. Okay, or just your finger. You only have three meters left. Detach part of the suit and throw it in the opposite direction. This will push you forward. <laughs> We're holding an Among Us style party. It's a popular game with over 500 million players and more than any other game in history. With 97% of players playing the free version on mobile devices, but most of the revenue is generated from the paid PC version. Of course, we're playing the free version. If it's free, I'll play as well. And I chose Brown for a reason, because he's kicked out less than 65% of the time. In more than 90% of votes, people choose to kick out black, and it's the exact color you have, Arnold. Let the games begin. The most important thing is to act quickly, because you can be killed at any time. And here's the first murder. Don't worry, we have a lot of detectives here. They'll immediately figure out that you're not the imposter. Oops. I'm pretty sure you were thrown under the bus here, Arnold. It's time to get the hell out of here before you're chucked out into space. You need to complete tasks in the game to make it clear to the rest of the players that you're not the imposter. Whoops. This room is already occupied. Let's not disturb this couple. There's a new task. You need to extinguish the fire in the electrical room. Looks like it worked. They believe you. Come on, help out this player. I think I saw a fire extinguisher. Arnold, someone is seriously trying to frame you. Moreover, according to statistics, the electrical and admin rooms are the most dangerous places. If you're actually an imposter, you need to blow up the engine and win the game. 
It's not working. That's cool, Arnold. So you aren't an imposter. Congratulations. Careful. Got you, my friend. Forgive me. We had fun. But now you and I have to part ways. But we know for sure you're not an imposter. Now we just have to find out who is. But sometimes the imposter is much closer than it seems. This is another lesson for you. Arnold, there are no friends in Among Us. <laughs> Let's check how the Earthlings act under conditions of fear. Uh, is this doors really scary? I peed in fear. By the way, don't drink the juice. He's done 10,000 hours indoors. He doesn't look scared. Oh. And let's turn on weightlessness. Like in outer space. So Arnold, are you ready to play the game in space? Well, or just fly by. <laughs> Moving around in weightlessness isn't easy. And certainly not with your lack of grace. Arnold, it seems you've discovered a new type of fuel, hydrogen sulfide. It can help you deal with the monsters. Luckily, you're not the only one who missed pre-flight training. Careful, Arnie. Looks like you broke the seal. Due to the open lock, the balance of gases is all out of whack. Get your suit on, Arnold. Hooray, you did it. But now there's another problem. How are you gonna hear the monsters now? I think you'll just scare away all the monsters yourself. No, you're not deaf, Arnold. Sound simply can't travel in a vacuum. Sound travels in waves. Vibrating object transmits its vibration to neighboring molecules or particles. In space, air molecules are so far apart that they can't transmit vibrations. No air, no sound. So it's better you just sit in the closet. As long as they let you anyway. Houston, we have a problem. Is this the last door? I wonder what's behind it. Arnold, hold on, it's not over yet. And now the end. Today, you're in Area 51, and now you're gonna be teleported. Let me explain how teleportation works. Particles A and B are quantumly entangled. This means they can interact faster than the speed of light. If you scan particle C and its interaction with A, then B can be turned into C. Now, all that remains is to scan the seven octillion atoms in your body and recreate them on the other side of the Earth. Here we go. Phew, it worked. Or maybe not. According to the hypothesis, all neurons on Earth have two possible life cycles. One percent of neurons can transition from one world to another, becoming a mirror neuron. So, Arnie, buddy, you've ended up in a parallel universe. There were no pandemics here. Space technologies developed super quickly and provoked an alien attack. And I thought our 2023 was the worst. Sorry, Arnold. Nothing can save you now. Except for artificial intelligence. Which also decided to take over the world on the sly. Hurry, Arnold! Grab the portal gun! It can take you home! Arnold, no! That's not your universe! <gasps> Montage. <laughs> pretending to be an alien to get into Area 51. That's a really smart idea, Arnie. But real aliens, on the contrary, they want to get the heck out of there. Ooh, hoping to meet some little gray men, are you? Ah, stereotypes. In childhood, you already saw a gray alien with a big head and black eyes. That was your mother. Babies always have astigmatism, so the first face they see looks like that. Astigmatism gradually fades away, but the image of the humanoid remains in the subconscious. Wow, there's so much cool stuff here. Innovative technologies, cures for incurable diseases, answers to eternal questions. 
Arnie, do you even know what aliens look like? Well, you're about to find out. Life exists thanks to natural selection. All creatures strive to pass their genetic code on to the next generation. If evolution proceeds the same way everywhere, then aliens should look like us. Well, maybe with some differences. Wow, what a beautiful girl! With deadly jaws! Run, Arnold! She's stronger than a grizzly bear! And here's salvation for her. Arnie, the sheriff is unlikely to believe a guy with such a hairstyle. And of course, no UFO will be found. But you seem obsessed with aliens. Arnold, everyone thinks you're crazy. Because reptilians don't exist. Scientists think that aliens look something like this. Meet the Octomite, a collective mind consisting of living organisms. It lives underground with its crown protruding outside and digests light through photosynthesis. The appendages below give birth to larvae, which turn into butterflies and pollinate the main organism. Hmm, the psychiatric hospital changed you in just one day. Hooray! You know too much, so you're being invited to join the FBI. They'll reveal all the UFO secrets to you. That's suspicious. Of course. Where are you flying to? Sorry, but you can't escape. Even at an altitude of 5,000 meters, you still have to work on your YouTube channel. At least check the map. Ooh, looks like you flew right into the Bermuda Triangle. According to rumors, planes and ships often disappear here. Arnold, where did your jet wings and clothes go? Seems like the rumors are true and you're about to disappear. Science doesn't recognize the strange things taking place in the Bermuda Triangle. However, there are several non-scientific theories. According to one of them, everything that disappears here ends up in a parallel universe. Look, everything's a little different here. You look strange even to this dog. As you can see, your house has also changed a lot. I advise you to be careful there. Meet Arnold. This is Arnold, although from a parallel universe. He's much more successful than you and even sports a stylish mustache. And it looks like he doesn't like you at all. There is another theory. Everything that happens in the Bermuda Triangle is due to aliens. And perhaps they're taking vehicles to study human technology or putting it in a museum. Just look at how much stuff they have in their exhibits. Since aliens are poorly versed in terrestrial life forms, you were placed with mushrooms. Don't be offended, Arnold. It could be because of your haircut. You won't be bored for long. They say aliens abduct people for a different purpose. You must get pregnant and carry their alien baby. Sorry, Arnold, but aliens are also bad at gender. Did you finally wake up? It seems that at this altitude, you passed out from a lack of oxygen and had some crazy dreams. And this blackbird mistook you for a rival. As I said, from a scientific point of view, nothing unusual happens in the Bermuda Triangle. Calm down, Arnold. No planes, ships, or people disappear here. Provided, of course, that their jet wings don't run out of fuel. Wow, Arnold, congratulations. You died and went to heaven. Arnold, get in line and wait for St. Peter to let you in. Ooh, how cool is this? Hey, wow, look, is that John Lennon? No, wait, it's just Jesus. And here he is. He has many names. The Creator, Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh, God. Oh, shh. He's sleeping. You probably shouldn't mess with his stuff, Arnie. Arnold, what are you thinking? You can't go in there. 
<gasps> this is the control center for the whole world. Don't touch anything, Arnold. Oh, this is not good. Over the past few centuries, religious belief in the world has been dropping. And God is the most popular being in the world has a lot of haters. You dare play God, Arnold. Man is simply too greedy for this role. There are lots of examples from history, and they all ended pretty badly. Arnold, stop! This ain't a joke, buddy. Great. Now everything's gone haywire. Fanatical faith has always led to wars. And now a nuclear crusade has begun. Arnold, stop before it's too late. Are you even listening to me? Phew, just in time. Hey, God, don't take this the wrong way, but thank God you're here. Arnold, looks like you're done. <laughs>